Hi there everyone, I'm News Meteorologist Ashley Baylor with a check of your latest forecast. Hopefully you're having a great Saturday so far. Today is definitely the pick of the weekend. We will enjoy a mix of sun and clouds heading into this afternoon with temperatures warming into the mid and upper 80s. Now a lot of us will stay dry through the day, although there could be an isolated shower or thunderstorm that pops up this afternoon, but very hit or miss. So a lot of us will escape the day without a single raindrop. Now, unfortunately, that will not be the case tomorrow. We are going to be dealing with on and off rain and storms. So a flood watch has been hoisted for not only Connecticut, but much of New England. We've received a lot of rain over the past week, so we just can't afford any more rain. It is nowhere to go. So the concern with tomorrow is some slow moving downpours that could lead to some flooding or even flash flooding. And we already still have that flood warning in effect for parts of the Connecticut River stretching from Hartford through Middle Haddam. Luckily, I do expect those river levels will gradually come down early next week. So here's a look at our hour by hour forecast showing you the chance for a hit or miss thunder shower as we go through this afternoon. Keep your outdoor plans. I think a lot of us will be fine. And as we head through the overnight hours, expect mostly cloudy skies with some thunder showers developing by morning. As I mentioned, tomorrow is not going to be a consistent rainfall from start to finish, just kind of on and off through the day. But when we do have those downpours, they could move very slowly, so it will have the time to drop a lot of water on any given area. So again, listen for any more flood warnings or flash flood warnings to be issued for Sunday. That means flooding is happening. You need to move to higher ground if necessary. Of course, watch out for areas that have poor drainage. Make sure your sump pumps are working. And also, if we do get any flooding like we saw in Kent and Norfolk last week, if you come across a road that is flooded, please do not drive through. We've seen a lot of roads get washed out, especially up in Litchfield County and, of course, points north of that up through Vermont. So tonight, mostly cloudy, a few thunder showers again, especially towards daybreak on and off rain and storms tomorrow with that flooding possible. And I also want to mention because the ground is so saturated, if we do get any decent wind gusts that could bring down some small trees. Luckily, we dry out on Monday with temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s. A couple of afternoon pop up thunder showers possible on Tuesday, but Wednesday and Thursday look like a pair of dry days. Not only will they be dry and bright days, the humidity is going to come down a little bit. Instead of dew points well into the 70s, the dew points will come down into the lower 60s. So I wouldn't necessarily call it refreshing or comfortable, but certainly not as muggy or as tropical. We could be looking at some thunder showers next Friday, but in the meantime, we'll keep a close eye on Sunday and keep you updated right here at WTNH.com.